Hey everyone, I'm Sam, and today I want to show you how to make a castle explode out of a book. All we'll need for that is a pencil, an eraser, and an A4 sheet of paper, and either a pen or a biro to do the outlining. Pause, grab that, and uh, unpause when you're ready. In the end, it'll look something like this. To do this, what we'll need to do is create the book first and then the castle on top. It will go basically like this. I've got an A4 sheet of paper, so I'm going to start somewhere near the middle and then draw a curve, sort of goes on a diagonal, and then I'll draw a flat line, and then I'll draw another curve going that way. Okay, so this is the, the front of the book. What we'll do is pull some diagonal lines sideways remembering to press really softly as we go along. So from over near the side here, over to there. Straight down there, and then try and make it the same length, so maybe from there to there. Pressing softly, now I need to make the middle of my book. I'm gonna say I need to go to there. So I'm gonna go from here to there, pressing softly, and out to the side. This is the base of our book. To make it into a, a more 3D style book, I'm going to pull in a line that comes in from this side to the center, maybe a little bit higher. And the same here, I'll pull a line that goes out and to there, and that will be my pages coming out to the side. doesn't have to be exactly the same. So maybe nice and low, something like this, uh, or an ellipse, which is a wide circle, and pulling it down into a kind of cone shape, down both sides diagonal, and then bring that all the way around the front. But we would need to follow the surface of our book, so this is going to come more down towards the center. You see what I mean? If we get rid of that, and we have a good base to put our castle on top of there. One thing I'll do before we move on is add a triangular prism. So I'll start a line down here and then build it up, up like so, and up like so, and then build that down to the base of the mountain and maybe pull that back. So as we got a nice ramp so as people can get up into our castle. Scale is important. So I'm going to just quickly just pop in uh, just a tiny little person, just so as I know how big a person is. All right, I'm not going to go into great detail about our little people. I'm just gonna put a little person there. So I can build my castle now. I'm going to pop in, uh, it'll be maybe one tower here, one tower here, one tower here. So what I'll do is I will grab uh, a line that goes, a scoop that goes under, I'll get a line, a scoop that goes under, and a long diagonal, and another little scoop, and then pull that back, like so. Alright, so I've done scoop, diagonal, diagonal, scoop, maybe one extra scoop on the side here. I'm going to turn this into a bunch of geometric shapes. So I will start with a very tall cylinder. So I'm going to come straight up, straight up. And then again, I will grab that same scoop, this one, pop that here. See how that's creating a, a bit of a cylinder? I might even finish that off by going like so. I'll do the same again here. I'll go straight up and straight up and then pop in the shape like this, and then the shape like that. All right, let's connect them up. I'll get a spot from here to here, so I'll say I want my first level to go across like this, something like that, and then I'll make my big door, so an archway that starts there and there, then I'll pick the middle point out there so my archway needs to go up and towards that dot and then down towards that dot. 
I'm going to pop in another square going directly up, straight up, straight up, and then I can close that off with a little top bit like so. To keep it from getting confusing, I will erase these little sections as I go along because they will be behind. Alright, so we've got our castle front. I'm going to build our castle side. I'll just pull, grab this line and pop that up here. So I'll say it needs to go the same diagonal down to there and then straight down again. Always the verticals need to go straight down to the earth. So now I can pop in my uh, next cylinder. I need to grab that line and pop that in there. And the same over here, I'll put the line there and then put my castle top, just like that little circle. What we're going to do now is another diagonal like this. So that will just go like that. And then that will join up to here. All right, that'll come straight across to there. I will erase the lines that, that we don't need right now. This is why it's good to always always uh, press lightly when we're working on our sketch. All right, one more thing is another castle top over here. So again, I might just erase a little spot there and pop in my circle first. And that's all going to go behind there. So let's pop that in just like that. All right, to make our castle more 3D, we're going to need to uh, build in some details in these areas here. So we just need to remember which diagonal we're working on. So this diagonal needs to be replaced here and here, but also here. Uh, yeah, that's a good spot. And so this diagonal needs to be placed here and here and over there. All right, so that means our verticals can just, just come straight back down like so. Uh, is there any more? That one's fine. Um, Another spot for this diagonal is back here, so I'm going to double that line all the way back there. And then what will I do? I'll get this diagonal, the forward one, to come forward. So it goes in, it will join behind there, but I'm going to make mine just come along like that. There is another spot over here, I'll just drag that back, and I might just drag that through there da -da 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 -da, to about here. Remember, don't worry if it's not exactly the same. Uh, just doing your best is the main thing. Alrighty, so I also need to get that diagonal, which is this sideways one, and pop it just inside here. So as we get the inside of this gate. To make the inside of the gate, we just grab this curve here and pull that around. So we were getting that kind of effect where you can get in through the big door. So I'll just get a straight line and diagonal, diagonal, up, and then like, like that. And I'll place a few of those around my building. So I'll get another one there and make it go up to here. So there and there, like so. And maybe some on the front. So I'll just, I build my tall side, my verticals first. Vertical, triangle, diagonal, diagonal that and one on the other side so vertical diagonal 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 very good I might even pop one facing us so that will just look like a rectangle from this angle that will look good um, maybe one more over this side I'll pop that in just as a triangle on the side and that is the same as this side so back in the old days, they only had really small windows. I'm just going to pop in two there, two there, and maybe two in the middle that are really close. And notice that that also follows the diagonal. Then one there, one there, one there, one there. But here we can put some larger ones. I'm going to go for just one big archway in the center, or near the center. Yeah, mine's a little off to the, off to the right. Uh, maybe a smaller one and another small one. That's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. And then I need to drag down uh, the inside of the castle. So a line that goes down here uh, and then maybe all the way like so. 
Yeah, I'm gonna keep, keep going down so I can stick in behind there. You can sort, so also see into the castle, so I might put something on the inside, like a little kind of cube or something on the inside, which we can turn into a little sort of market type shop thing. We go like that. Alright, All right. I'll let you catch up. Um, what else do we want? I think I would like to make one of these towers extra tall. I might go for the, this one over here. Okay. Uh, I might make this one extra tall and just drag out an extra cylinder that fits on the inside of there. But instead of having just a flat cylinder, I'm going to have this one have a cone top on the top of it. So all the way up and up and up and up and up until we get to sort of I guess, something like that. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. I might now just pop in um, some outside details. So I'm just going to pop in a whole bunch of cones around the outside. And this can turn into a little forest. I'm just going to do smaller cone shapes over this side, lots of them, making sure that some go over this line. Some bushes that come in front and behind my trees, like that. So our final steps on our uh, castle, I think I'll just add a little few more details over here. Making sure that all of my trees have bases. Maybe this could lead onto uh, a fork in the road. Maybe that could be something like that. And a little signpost. What I might do over here is turn this into kind of a a stream or a little river that has some rocks in it. We turn this into a big waterfall which is the bookmark. So the bookmark can be uh, running right off the page. And it can be, imagine this is all blue. This could be your river. After we've done our waterfall, I might do one more step where we add an extra layer to this side, maybe just to indicate this is our book cover that goes around the outside, like so. And I might clean that edge off to a little squiggle there. And the same here. That way we get the sort of paging effect. Alright, that's pretty good for now. Uh, what I suggest you do is you spend the next little while doing some uh, details on yours. Just uh, add all the extra details like windows or little flags, stuff like that, and just have fun with it. For the finishing touches on your illustration, you might want to use a pen. Uh, I've used a just an ink pen, but a biro will do any kind of pen. What you do with the pen is you go and do the inking, which is the outline, making all of the lines as best you can. Here's what I did in time lapse.
you can see I went around all of my major shapes and then supported it with little details. After we've done all our outlining with the pen, then we'll use our eraser to get rid of all of the pencil. After we've got rid of all of the pencil lines, our illustration is looking great. If you're feeling satisfied, then you can stop here. I suggest we take it one step further and we add colour. You can use any kind of pencils you like. I'm using uh, some Prismacolor pencils, but any kind of pencils would, will do. You don't need fancy things. I'll now demonstrate my colouring in time lapse. I hope you enjoyed making a castle explode out of a book. I really like my result. Remember, it takes practice, so don't worry if it doesn't turn out perfect. In fact, you learn more from mistakes than you do from getting it perfect the first time. Click the bell and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!